Hi, I'm Michele from MestAutomation.com and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, any Modbus uh, library and go through the entire article and showing you how to uh, realize an application that connects to a Modbus uh, client. So, we start from uh, getting the library and the Modbus. I get the latest source of the old library uh, there is also a new Modbus, the 4.0, uh, but we are going to use this for now. So you just click here and download the zip file. I already did it. When you open the zip file, you need the source folder, and here you click on source, and you get all the sources, and that's what you need. So. I already opened it the first time so and compiled so basically what you get is uh, these projects and uh, some uh, incompatible project you can just remove the incompatible project and keep uh, this so okay wait a second that it's uh, updating the solution Okay, so now we rebuild everything. Perfect. And everything is fine. So, uh, the sources are in a Modbus project, but we are going to use my sample that shows how to use the different function of the project. Okay, so going back to the article, we are going to use. Uh, uh, this simulator, plcsimulator.org, so we are going to download from this website. I already downloaded it, and uh, this is the simulator. Now, I'm going to use the configuration that was provided from uh, a comment uh, left uh, not so much, so much time ago. So this guy, uh, let's say Andrew has a problem connecting on uh, with this configuration to a Modbus R2 so I'm going to use this configuration for example to to make this example so let's configure the uh, simulator with this configuration so we go here on the RS232 um, settings and I set all the configuration needed so this was the configuration, the baud rate, the parity and so on. So, once we have the configuration, we can go on Visual Studio. So, uh, we are using Modbus R2. So, in the simulator, uh, we are going to... Is it possible to select RS232? Yes, so we have to select this Modbus. Then we are going to write all the register. So, you see you can check uh, what to see so coil uh, this is outputs of the PLC and this is the inputs they are bit and bit so this is analog inputs is read only registers and this is all the registers is a uh, read and write so we are going to write here and read here okay so we are going to read it to write all the registers so with Modbus R2 so I basically uncomment this function that is an example basically so Modbus R2 master write register now we are going to write so I have to configure the serial port so I'm using uh, com0 com that it's not here okay I'm using a simulator basically I'm using uh, let me show you I'm using these two ports I'm using COM5 and COM6. To, uh, they are uh, to, uh, to emulated port, serial port. Okay, so with these two serial port, COM5 is connected on uh, the simulator here. So what's left? Uh, it's COM6. So here I will write COM6 then. I have to configure the baud rate and this is ok, this is even stop 1, ok 
so now we are going to write uh, from register 100 uh, slave id 1 these three values and uh, I will place a breakpoint here and they can run ah, ok I have to select uh, this as a startup project then we can go ok so here I'm creating uh, here I I open the port so I'm creating the connection here I set up the register that I want to write and here I write the register and everything should be fine so this is what we've wrote and this is what we got in our response and uh, as you can see from 101 to 100 then we the values changed and so we uh, wrote uh, the values and here we are so what if we want to read the values so we can go to this example we can do Oh my god. Dot read holding registers. We can use the same values. So slave ID start register and register. Okay. So short a number of points. We want three points. And then we can do uh, okay, we can do just console dot uh, write uh, line values and let's see what it contains. So let's reset everything. And let's run again the project. So here we write, and so we have our values, and then we can do a read, and we can see what it contains, and we have the values. So let's suppose that I comment this and I write my values, so 10, 20, 30. Let's run the project. and you can see we are reading it so this is about uh, getting uh, connected to a modbus uh, device hope it's uh, clear we also you can use this um, uh, the free uh, serial port uh, so this is uh, a sniffer of serial port you can uh, read the package that we send uh, and the package that uh, an mod bus uh, that the simulator sends us so for example it is sent to the slave 01 function 03 that is reading registers this is the starting these two bytes are the starting address these two bytes are the number of uh, registers that we want to read so we start from now uh, let me check so this is uh, hex so probably it's 64 it should be 100 so we start from uh, one, register 100 then we go for free register and this is just check some uh, values uh, okay so we request for to the server function 03 he reply with function 03 then he gives uh, all the values and uh, that's all so you can read some documentation on the functions on this uh, website so as you can see uh, we used function 03 to read all the registers then you can use also other uh, function 
function 04 reads input register and so on so this protocol has uh, different functions to read uh, different uh, registers and uh, this uh, number of the function it's the second bit the first bit is the slave ID uh, and then uh, the data it's uh, on the on these bytes so hope it's uh, hope everything is clear and uh, see you next video